Hi folks, Shane here. Um, firstly, thank you very much for all the likes I've been getting on Facebook um, on the GoPro page, much appreciated. Um, so today, what I thought I'd do, because I've been getting so many questions on how I set my camera up, my GoPro 7 Black up, to shoot star trails. And what I'd like to do with you is share those settings and how I set it all up, etc., etc. So without further ado, let's get to the back of the camera and uh, show you how it's done. So once you've got it into time lapse and scroll down to the bottom for night lapse, you need to set your camera up in, in this way, or for my settings anyway. So basically, shutter speed is 30 seconds. Interval, just leave to automatic. Field of view is wide. Um, switch into raw. Put the, you know, that's obviously with ProTune on. Um, EV comp, not applicable really on this uh, occasion. White balance, I, I've kept mine at 5.5 five, um, or 5,500K. Uh, when you shoot in RAW, you, you can fiddle around with it um, in, in processing to get the colours you like. Um, as far as ISO is concerned, the minimum I use is 100 and the maximum is 800. The reason why I go only to a max of eight, 800 is because I don't want too much noise introduced into the images. Sharpness I keep as low. Uh, color profile flat again that allows me to um, play with the colors in, in processing um, now another thing what I need to mention is when you're um, setting your camera up it's always worth putting it on a very sturdy tripod uh, that will reduce the risk of camera shake uh, of vibrations and everything else so you'll end up with a pin sharp image so now we've sorted the settings out a couple of little tips I've got for you um, when I shoot the star trails obviously I'm, I'm shooting over three four five hours sometimes um, and as you know with the GoPro the batteries aren't all that brilliant but what I use I use a, a power bank um, with the USB-C cable and uh, what I do because it's outside I actually put the power bank um, inside this Tupperware box um, that just saves any water ingress. Another thing you can do to protect your camera is get some of this silicon putty. I believe they sell it on Amazon and eBay. And you just put it around the port. Let's have a look. Around this area here, once the cable is in, and that'll keep it um, uh, moisture proof, shall we say. Again, that'll protect your camera from water ingress. So anyway, look, I, I really do hope these, these tips have been useful for you. And I really do look forward to seeing uh, your results uh, and as I say um, stay safe uh, enjoy the old GoPro and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon cheers now